Rachel welcome back to my channel it is um, a vlogmas day five I'm also cheating and doing this a little bit early I got called off to work um, so I get to go in an hour later so I'm all ready to go and I figured I might as well tape this next one um, so we are now on December 5th does anyone else feel like they don't have enough time before Christmas to get everything done. Like I still need to go shopping. We're hosting a Christmas party at our house next week. My son's gonna get surgery um, next week as well, just minor procedure. And I just don't feel like I have enough time to get everything done. Um, I'm sure everybody feels this way. This is just, I don't know, every December. I feel like December and June, those are like the two months that I just can never get caught up. But anyway, to get into today's video, it's not very Christmassy, um, but I haven't gotten around to doing this and I figured it was a good um, day to go over it. I have my three boxes here that are my $10 subscriptions. I am going to be cutting some of these at the end of the year. So um, these are my November ones. I just never got around to it. So it's a Sephora play. It is my Ipsy and it's my Birch box. Um, and so I am gonna go over them all real quick, tell you what I think um, and go from there. So we'll start with Ipsy, which traditionally has been my more favorite of them. So this is what the bag looks like this year and I'm just thinking no let me see sorry I'm gonna reach over here I think that goes with it I've kind of gotten into these and so my bags are a mess so the theme this year is happy friendsgiving say what you're thankful for and five emojis and then someone said there's no emoji for highlighter ha 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 anyway um so uh, they, these never have that much information on them um, which is kind of a bummer. I do like that the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus does have like a big old thing that tells you more. But this is, the bag is, are really cute. This one's all hearts, I guess, for friends. I don't know. Um, this could make like a really cute little like clutch purse almost. I don't know. Or it'd be a cute little like pencil bag. All of these I feel like could be cute pencil bags. Anyway, let's dig into it. So the first thing here is the Tarte High Performance Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. I think everybody got these, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, Tarte makes fantastic blushes, um, and I do have a couple of them. I don't believe I have this shade, so this is what it looks like. This is not the full size, but honestly, it's a nice sample size. This is the sample size here. It's a really pretty color. Um, I'm debating about putting this aside to give to someone because I have a ton of blushes and right now I am really big on my space case blush that I got last month and my Ipsy. I'll link it here so that you guys can see. I am like, just can't get enough of that. I'm going to hit pan soon, I feel like. Um, but these are nice. These are really good blushes. They last all day. Um, and I have a bunch of them. I just am not reaching for them right now, but I do love my Tarte products and everything else. All right, next thing here is, it's in the little bubble wrap here, is the Nails Ink London. Um, this is a little nail polish. It's a little smaller than you know, like your typical nail polish bottle, but it's still a nice size. And it's Montpellier Walk. It's a nude color. Um, I feel like I have this color in other brands and I just don't reach for it. So this will probably go in a giveaway as well. It's a very nice thing. I'm glad they sent it to me. I just wish it was a different color. It's not one I'm gonna reach for, but it's pretty. Like I can't, can't, can't be mad about it. Next thing here is the Mark Anthony Frizz Silicone Free Leave-In Conditioner. These are great. I give these to my daughter um, because she has like hair with curls everywhere. So I love these leave-in conditioners. So this she will get to use. This is 1.69 fluid ounces. This is a really, really nice size. And um, it is sealed right now. So I'm gonna leave it sealed because she's into a different one. All right, two more things here. This is the Make Lip Gloss in Victoria Plum. Is this gloss? Is it? It says lip gloss. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. It's a cute little um, tube. This is what the applicator looks like, which is kind of interesting. I already have lip balm on my lips. So this is definitely not 
I'm, I'm looking at my mirror here. I was a little worried this is going to be super opaque. It's actually not a bad looking color. But I kind of like that. That's actually really pretty. That's a nice color. And I love lip glosses, so this is something I might actually reach for. It's a little darker than I go for, but it feels very fall and appropriate color for the season. All right. Final thing here as another item that I don't know if I'm going to give away or keep. Um, this is the Bonnie Dumanizer by The Balm. It's a little tiny thing. Um, I have so many liquid highlighters that I'm just not reaching for. I'm not going to swatch this just in case I want to give it to someone else because I have so many of these. Um, but I've heard great things about The Balm products. And um, anyway, this is supposed to be a liquid highlighter and overall illuminator. So that is my um, Ipsy. I mean, it's a nice Ipsy. I don't, I'm not going to use everything in it, but I think it was a good value for the $10. So Ipsy right now is not on my chopping block. I, I really do like it. I've gotten good products. All right, let's move on into Sephora Play. Um, I already got into it, but Sephora recently switched to these plastic bags because you're supposed to be able to recycle them. I'll be honest. I don't think I recycle them. I think they just go in the regular trash. I feel like this was a downgrade. I mean, I'd rather them just not send us a bag if that's how they were gonna go. This feels like a waste of plastic to me, but that is aside. So this I'm not super duper happy about. They always send this card with the 50 points, which I sometimes use, sometimes don't. And the theme here today is Merry and Bright. So I guess it's like a pre-Christmas theme here. So they tell you, they do do really nicely about telling you what's in here and what's not. All right, so they always give you one bonus item. This is the Tory Burch, Just Like Heaven. This will go in the giveaway because I don't use perfume. You guys have probably heard that from me a bazillion times. I just, I just don't like perfumes. I don't wear them, I don't reach for them. So I give them away. Um, next item here is the Moroccan Oil Protect and Prevent Spray. It comes in this little holder here. Now, this one doesn't really work for me because it's supposed to prevent brassiness and color fading, and I don't dye my hair. I think I've highlighted it twice the entirety of my life. So this is my natural hair color. Um, I may give this to my mother. Uh, Moroccan Oil is a great brand. It is kind of, I'm kind of bummed that they gave me a hair treatment color thing. I, I, we'll see. I'll probably give this away, but not a bad product. Not that exciting. All right. Next thing here is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder. I'm always excited to get powder. I never know what powder to buy. Um, and so I like when I get little samples because it's kind of fun to try them out because my skin is so very dry that I find that powders can really be hit or miss for me. And I don't like spending the money and then finding out a powder just like made my skin super dry. So this is a tiny, tiny little um, thing here. You can see it's just a little translucent powder. Doesn't really have much of a smell. So that's cute. Not a huge sample. This is one you're going to have to like tap out into something else to be able to use. But I'm actually happy with this sample. It is little, but for powder, I'm okay with that. I don't find that the samples of powder tend to be that big. All right, next thing here I was excited to hear I was getting about, but it's so little. It's the Clinique Prep Pep Start Eye Cream. Now, eye creams go, a little goes a long way. I've been eyeing this product, so I am glad to, to be able to try it. It looks like a little lip balm. Now, this is my problem. It looks like this is going to be full, but look, I'm already pressing halfway, and it's already mostly empty. So this thing is 0.1 fluid ounces. It is itty-bitty. So there's not a lot in there. It smells good, it feels good, but this sample is itty bitty even for an eye sample. Um, given that when I press this, about half of this is empty, this will probably last me maybe a week of application, which is enough to try it out, but kind of a bummer. Like if you're gonna do this, fill the bottle at least. All right, next thing here is a company that I've gotten some samples from, but I have yet to try. This is the Ceramidin Dr. Jart Cream, which is a moisturizing cream that's supposed to help with fine lines. Um, 
this is kind of cool. I, I am interested in this. So this one's actually full. That's what it looks like. It's a very thick cream. Ooh, it has a really nice fresh scent. Um, so this is actually a nice sample. I mean, it's little, but I could probably get a couple applications on my face. Again, not enough to get a really good feel for this cream, but at least to get a sort of idea. All right, guys, are you ready for the most ridiculous sample known to man? I mean, ridiculous, and this makes me slightly unhappy with this box and has now put this box on the chopping block, okay? This, this, this. So why would I be upset about a lip, lip stain sample? I shouldn't, right? It's a Sephora collection. I have nothing wrong with Sephora collection. I actually like their products. But that is the sample, guys. Look at this. This is the most ridiculously small sample. Now, if this were a really expensive brand like Guerlain or Yves Saint Laurent, okay. But this is Sephora's brand. This is their own, their own brand. And this sample is not even... 0.1 fluid ounces at 0.04. This will get me three applications of lipstick, maybe. Look how ridiculously tiny that is. It's a pretty color, but come on, Sephora. It's your own dang product, and you can't even bother to send a slightly larger sample. You get rid of the bags, and then you send us these, like, ridiculously tiny tiny these things are on sale for eight dollars right now at sephora they're regularly 14. this is ridiculous so yeah no um not as excited about this i think they sent some good products but i think they're ripping people off i'll be honest they're they used to be really good with their sample boxes and they've had some months where I've just been very very pleasantly surprised by their box but if I get one more box like this then this one is probably going to go on the chopping block. All right here is my last one that I have been debating about keeping or going. So Birchbox is known for doing tiny samples. I've kind of had hit or miss whether I like products from them. It's like I get a lot of products that I just don't care for and then I'll get like one or two star products. So I don't know they do really cute boxes they just haphazardly throw everything in the box is one of my big problems with it like that um and then they always send this little card that tells you a little bit about products and what the full size cost but they never tell you how much is in a full size so it's a little bit harder to tell what your value is this is also ten dollars the theme is this fall there's no better time to get connected so that kind of goes here and then let's get into this one here so this is another Dr. Jart product. This is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment with SPF 30. Um, I don't know about this product that much. Oh, it smells interesting. It's very medicinal smelling. It's kind of got this green color. It's not fully full, but there's a bunch on the lid here. It's not a bad sample. Um, not like amazingly big, but not horrible. This is an expensive brand, so this normally is $52. So I'm happy with this, this size. And I think this is a pretty good sample. Next thing here is the Liz Wadier Dramatic Intense 3D Volume Mascara in the color Noir. Now I don't mind getting mascara samples. I just kind of wish companies would switch it up and maybe give us some different colors than just black. Um, I know some people will disagree with me on this, but maybe some brown ones or some ones with a sparkle or gray or a color one. I have like 20 black mascaras and I tend to wear brown or brown black. So I would love if they would mix it up, but this is not bad. Um, this product full price is $25. I don't know anything about this brand, um, but hey, not a bad thing. All right, next thing here is a brand that's exclusive to Birchbox, which I actually really like this brand. This is the Arrow, and this is the Boost Color Enhancing Lip Balm Blush Hour, and it's a lip pH to create a flattering rose pink hue. Now, I put this on earlier, and I have had bad luck with pH stuff, but this one actually was nice. It just was a very faint blush pink on me. You can see it's kind of starting to turn there. 
This is one of the few H, few pH anything that I've actually liked. So this is nice. And this is, this is basically full size. Like if this isn't full size, I don't know what it is. So good for you, birch box. All right. Next thing here is the Amica soil food nourishing mask. And this is another hair mask. Um, either I'll keep this for myself or give it to my daughter. But this is a great brand. Full size of this is $28. This is 0.68. This will probably get, for me, like two applications for my daughter. Probably like four applications. So I'm happy about that. That's a decent brand. And then this is the final thing here. This is the Derma E Overnight Peel with AH Exfoliant Facial. I have tried other stuff in their brand which have been okay. Um, I love AHA products. I find they make my skin very smooth. Full size on this is $18.75. Eighteen this is a 7 mil sample. This is a pretty decent size sample. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So normally Birchbox tends to be the one I like the least. Um, out of all of these, I actually liked my Birchbox the best. Um, so we'll see how next month goes. It's in the maybe category. Uh, so yeah, those are my three boxes. Which one did you think was the best? Um, but I am going to chop at least one of them. I think I just, I've not been happy and I just feel like the quality has gone down. So we'll see. It'll be kind of birch box versus, um, Sephora play to see which one I kind of say, mm, that's done. I'm done. All right, guys. Well, I got to get ready and finish going, getting packed up for work. But um, thanks for watching. I am going to link in the description box for all those who have not heard. I probably have talked about this already a bazillion times. I am giving away a sultry palette um, for this week. The contest or the giveaway ends on Monday the 10th. So please Go to the description box, watch the video to find out how you can win it. It is a brand new one that's never been opened. This is my personal one. Um, anyway, thanks guys. Like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks.